what is going on guys i just found this old 7gs that i ordered a few years ago on ebay when i was just messing around with some old gpus uh what i'm going to try and do today is i'm going to try and put it in my rig and run some modern games if that's even possible uh not sure if windows 10 supports it with the drivers or not we'll also see if the game will actually even load on it i'm guessing this was i'm pretty sure it's not even DirectX 10 based yet. This should be DirectX 9 Max. So we'll try and run some of those games. Alright, let's see how it works. And starting off, we have Dota 2, one of the most played games on the planet. It is a game that actually runs fairly decent on this card and one of the latest DirectX 9 titles that I was actually able to get to run with this card. Once again, this card will not go above DirectX 9. Uh, the max supported is DirectX 9, I think. DirectX 9C is probably the top one. And also, playing above 720p is absolutely horrible on this card, because once again, this card only has 256 megabytes of VRAM, so playing at about 720p is probably the best you're going to get with this kind of card. Um, once again, I don't think anyone still runs this card. If you are, I'm, I'm surprised. Uh, like, God, this thing's just... It's old, I guess. I mean, I'm pretty sure any integrated graphics on the market will destroy this thing. I think most tablets nowadays, like Windows tablets, are probably stronger than this as well. Um, but it's actually, for such an old card, this card is over 10 years... It's actually 10 years old now, I believe. So, it... And the fact that it's actually playing games so well is actually kind of surprising me, especially Dota 2, which at 720p at low settings was actually very playable. I know the average FPS says 25, but that is actually beyond playable. It seems actually smoother than 25. I was also running a 10v10 match, so the FPS might be a little higher with a 5v5 match as well. Uh, another thing to consider is um, if you drop the resolution below 720p, if you're willing to, I know a lot of people don't like playing, especially nowadays since most people probably play in 1080, uh, you will get even higher FPS, and this is actually kind of really cool that this card can even handle it. Uh, I will note, there are some artifacts that I'm getting that is mostly because it's a very old card. Uh, it's not overclocked, I'm running this at stock, so once again, I mean, it could be overclocked, probably get higher FPS as well, but that's just going to create more artifacts, and once again, this is a very, very old card. Um, I don't know the, how, exactly how old this one is, because I did buy it on eBay a few years ago, um, but it's pretty decent. And here we also have CSGO, which is also thankfully DirectX 9, like most source games. So I was able to test this out. Running at 1080p low actually provided um, not only really playable frame rate, 17.5 is not a playable frame rate in my mind for CSGO. But once you drop the resolution down uh, much lower, you'll get decent frames. Uh, the footage as well is also run on the card. All the footage that you're seeing in this video is also off the card, so it can give you a rough idea on how it's performing. Um, right now, you can see the FPS in the top left. That's at a 720p resolution. That is currently at medium settings, I believe, that I'm playing at here, and it is actually pretty buttery smooth, to be honest. It's not 60, but it's playable. Uh, the only thing I will say, that if someone throws a smoke grenade at you, they might as well just stun you, because they're... The way this card works is that any smoke particles from CSGO will absolutely decimate your FPS, essentially. You are just, you are just gone. Absolutely. I would also like to mention that the FPS that you are seeing in the top left is not based on this casual match that I'm currently playing. It is actually based on the CSGO benchmarking map which will have lower frames than playing a casual map because it will stress the GPU more. Uh, but in terms of, this is more of like, this is more to give you a rough idea of if you actually ran the benchmark yourself, what you would get, and you can compare it if you want to. A big thing is also in a casual match, uh, it will run way better. Then again, I hope no one's actually still running this card. If you are and you are playing this game, well, that I can then do that. It just, that is just an achievement. That is amazing that you still have this card. And, I hope to God, somehow you will get a better card sometime. Now dropping it down to low settings at 720p makes it actually very playable. It is at 51.5 FPS average. It might be higher if you actually overclock it, which I have not. This card is at stock once again. Uh, overclocking can potentially bring up to a 60 player 
I mean, 60 FPS and should be playable. I know a lot of people at play CSGO tend to play at a lower resolution too. Um, so I guess, you know, if you if you just have like a 10 year old rig that has a 700 GS and like plays CSGO and you just like low resolutions, then you know, this card is still great for you, you know. Uh, if you want to do anything else with your PC, like, you know, actually play video games that are semi-modern, um, might be a smart idea, you know, get something else, but, uh, overall this card is just, this is kind of just a fun experiment to do and just see how this card works. And next up, we have Microsoft PowerPoint, aka Skyrim, running on this card. At 1080p, this game is absolutely unplayable. No way you could ever run it. It's just horrendous. I mean, you could probably mod, get a few performance mods and try and get it better, but I was running everything low settings possible. Um, and average FPS was about nine. The way I benchmarked it is I went through the opening cutscene and then I tried to repeat every single move the best that I possibly could up until you exit this tower right here. And the footage you're also seeing is also on the card as well. All the footage you've seen in this video has been on the card so far. Just to give you a rough idea, um, the footage is though at 720p low as you can see, and it is actually playable. Uh, the way you're seeing it on screen is actually not very accurate because frame times in videos are very perfect, whereas frame times when you actually play in the game are horrendous, so it makes it almost unplayable. Also, whenever you decide to go and fight someone, the FPS likes to drop itself in half, which is just great. Um, so, I mean, if you're running Skyrim and you, know, you have this card, which I swear to God, there's somebody out there that's running this card, I will buy you one if you please just tell me. Because this is just, this is one of the worst like forms of torture a lot of PC gamer can go through is still using this card. Uh, it basically feels like you're, it's like playing Microsoft PowerPoint, right? Like someone took all the frames, put them into PowerPoint. Right, just frame by frame, and then every like second they click the end, the next button, like probably like six times a second, essentially, or a few times per second, like as fast as the average FPS is, right? And that's what it feels like. And you have to tell them, hey, I want to go here, or I want to do this, or I want to do that, right? Like it's just stupid, like just unplayable. Um, but it's kind of cool also just seeing, like, hey, this is a ten-year-old car, you know? I'm curious to see like how long it will last, and it's like you never know, because like. You know, um, and then obviously the faster that uh, technology advances, the, the faster the car gets old, obviously, right? But it's still kind of cool seeing like an old car like this actually like handle like more modern games. Uh, Dota 2 was definitely playable. CSGO was definitely playable. Uh, you just have to drop it down to low settings, but you could definitely do it. Uh, Skyrim, there honestly, I ran it before like pretty smooth on, on a old Asus uh, Transformer tablet I had. But that also had a bunch of performance mods. So if you look up like performance mods, there's one that lowers the resolution uh, and then upscales it or something like that. It was really weird, but it also like cuts frames in half. Like it doesn't show, it skips frames. That's one you can consider. And just any general like performance tweaks will also help out. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you liked it, leave a like and subscribe if you like the content. Yay.